Let's first analyze the semantic of this document. We have the global parent of this element within the document, which it is body. Um, but in our case, we want access to this heading inside the article in order to change the style. Article in this case is the parent. It is the parent that wraps all of the siblings. So the siblings in our case are heading, paragraph, and ul so the title and the paragraph and an order it list they are at the same level and they are considered as siblings of this article parent okay i'm using yellow here so in order to just differentiate between siblings parent and at the end we have the children so the children in our keys are list items so this an order it list is considered here as the parent of this list items so if you want to access to any element within the article, we should go in a descending way. If you want to, for example, change the color of this heading right here, we need it to go in an ascending way. If you take a look here, you see that this is an article. Okay, this is the tag article, which is considered the parent, the heading, and the paragraph, and the order of the list. They are at the same level. I'm using yellow. Then we have the children, which are the list of items. To match the descendant element, in our case, we want to change the color of this heading inside the article. So the first thing will start with the parent from the CSS. Okay, we'll go and use article. Then we add a space. So the space, then the element or the sibling in our case, heading. And I open the color braces and I add the color green. Save that. And as you see, so the article title or the heading is changing the color. So the space here is defining that this H1 right here is a sibling of article. If So you don't have to remove the space. So if you just remove the space, it will be considered as the one selector. But in our case, if you use the selector article, then a space plus this heading. So in this case, you are just accessing to a sibling of this article. If you want to go to another sibling, so for example, this paragraph and change its color to red, so in this case, you can use article, then paragraph, don't forget the space, open the color races, and change the color to red. Save that, so it's changing to, to red. So to access to any sibling, the first thing to do is you need to use the parent, then use the sibling. If you remove article, so it will apply a color green. So save that, so you see that green still here. But the problem is this each one will be applied it will be considered as a global. So any each one, for example, even if it is outside of article, so it will take the color. So let's just save that. But this is not what I want. So what I want exactly is change the color of any heading within the article. And this is why we wrap the heading sibling within the article parent. Okay, let's just return to article each one. Good. You can also access the children by going from parent to a children. So in this case, we have one sibling, which is the unordered list, then the children, which is the list of items. So for example, if you want to change this list right here, change the background of this list right here to gray. Okay. So the first thing we should start from the parent, then we go to this unordered list, which is the sibling, then the children. Okay. Let's just write the CSS code. So the first thing, article, which is the parent, add a space to define the first sibling, which is the unordered list. And if we add a space here, means that I'm going deeper into the children, which is the list of item. Okay, let's just write li, open the color braces. If we take a look at this tree, you see that we have article as a parent and the ul, which is the sibling. So they are at the same level. So I'm using space to access and deeper from the parent. Now change the background color to gray. I'll go to gray, save that. And the list of items are changed into gray.